Hi there, this is Renee from Floating Lights Photography and today I'm going to show you how to use the previous or the sync button in Lightroom. This is something that I wish I learned a really long time ago so I'd like to share it with you today. So I'm going to take this photo here first and I'm going to make a few basic edits. So I'm going to tone it down, um, I'll maybe warm it a little bit and I'm going to bring the highlights down, bring the shadows up. I'll change my vibrance a little bit, bring that up. I'm also going to sharpen it. I'm also going to add a little bit of big netting here. And then one last touch I'm going to do is add an adjustment brush. So I'm going to bring up the exposure a bit and just brush a little bit more light onto her face here. That's a little bit much, I'll just turn that down a little bit. Okay, so I really like how this is edited now, and I'd like to apply the same edit without having to go through and make the same adjustments um, to this photo, and there's this really great thing called previous, and all you have to do is hit the previous button, and it's going to apply all the same um, settings to your new photo. So that is really fantastic. One thing to note though is that it even um, will transfer the brush settings. So if you took a photo like this and hit previous, the brush setting is over here. So you can see it's not highlighting the right part of her face. So all, all I would have to do is come up here to the brush and hit reset. It's going to take that away and now I can add a new a new setting and brush on um, some light to her there. And now if I wanted to go to the next photo over and apply that same um, setting, I could hit previous again. So that is my favorite little button called previous. Now if you're doing a lot of batch editing, you can... Um, sync all your photos to be the same as well. So if I liked this photo edit and I wanted to apply it to all of these photos in the line, I'd make sure that this photo was selected first, then I'd go through and holding down the shift button, you could select all the photos that you'd like, and then your previous button turns into a sync button. And you can hit sync, it's gonna come up with the synchronized settings box and ask you which settings you'd like to synchronize. And if you're keeping them all the same, you can synchronize all. And just hit the button and it's gonna go through and change each and every one of those photos to have the same settings as the original photo that you had selected or highlighted. So it's just doing its thing here. And there we go. And then you can go in and tweak the brushes if you needed to. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions at all, you can always email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.